Welcome back to OMG RC. So today we're gonna go ahead and do a little upgrade on our Red Cat Everest 10. Got some aluminum upgrades here for the front and the rear, exactly the same part numbers are 180003. Anyway, uh, I was running this before and it broke one of them in the rear. I'll put a video at the very end of this so you can see where I, when I broke it. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and uh, yeah, you're gonna need this basic little tools that are here as far as what I'm using. So anyway, let's get started. All right, so first off, I'm gonna go ahead and remove all four wheels. All right, guys, gonna go ahead and remove the hex adapter here, along with the pin. Then I'm gonna go ahead, let's put that in a safe spot over here. Then we'll go ahead and move this, uh, the caster mount. So let's go ahead and, I'm just gonna do that in real time anyhow, because it's only two screws anyways. So shouldn't take too long, even though I'm manually doing this. So let's see how fast that, that's not bad. So we'll get the bottom one here. All right, so cool. All right, easy peasy on that one. Let's go ahead. Now we got that all up for there. So I think we can pull this shaft out no can't pull the shaft out I think I don't know if we'll be able to clear it let's see we'll go ahead and get this steering arm out all right almost there I figured I'd at least show you the one anyhow. See how easy it is. Of course, manually doing this too, so. Try and do it quick. All right, so we got those. Let's see how this comes out. All right, well, that was easy. All right, so that's quick and simple. So, nice. Very easy to do. All right, let's go ahead. Just need to repeat this process here. Go ahead and make sure I can get that all lined up. Just in case I run into any issues, you guys will be definitely be aware since I'm doing this all right in front of you. So yeah, nice upgrade. Um, it was a lot of stress. So hopefully with this, it doesn't put a lot of stress on the next weaker spot. So we'll see how this works. I'm not gonna bash it so much, but I wanted to make it stronger because I was just doing a little bit of jumps with it and then it was, it just landed wrong. Who knows? Um, you know, maybe it would have survived a little bit longer, but even if I didn't jump that one or land on it, but it's nice that they have the upgrade parts for it, for sure. And like I said, this seems to be pretty easy as far as that part goes. All right, so that's in there, good. Go ahead, put that around. We'll put that off the side so there's no confusion. We'll go ahead and just, while we're here, Kind of clean that up a little bit. That is a bearing that's in there. So, uh, if you've been running yours in the water, so this would be a perfect opportunity to go ahead and, you know, lubricate those all, clean them all up real nice and everything. Mine's a little bit crunchy still, but I've only ran it just a couple times. So, of course, the dirt, that's always the worst, right? All right, let's get this thing back in there. All right, just figured I'd give you a different angle there. There are some bushings that you gotta make sure that those are seated in there because they might give you a little bit of a problem. Um, let me just show you here real quick. So when this, I'm trying to get it out. Anyway, it's this little guy right here. So you can see the one sitting on the bottom here, but the other one on top, just make sure that that, that could give you a little bit of a problem or hang up a little bit. Um, putting it back on so just kind of let be aware of that if you're having a problem like why isn't this thing going on because it kind of kind of see I'm trying to hold it up a little bit so it will slide on there but yeah uh, definitely gives you a little bit of a problem it should have, if you do it. Let's 
giving me a lot of problem right now. There we go. All right. So let's get the screw back in there. All right. We'll put the other one on the bottom. Zoom out. All right, now that I have that all done, go ahead and put our pin in. A little hex adapter in there as well. Then we're good. Cool. Actually, I like the way it looks too, as far as that little bit of gold that's on there. Anyhow, looks good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same process for everything else here, and then I'll just. All right, guys, so that is the upgrade. So I figured I'd time lapse it anyhow, just so you can see it all in the progress here, but everything turned out well. The only thing is the one that I did glue is a little bit harder to get off. But other than that, it was pretty simple to do, a very quick upgrade to do, and I think it'll definitely be beneficial for sure as far as making things a little bit stronger there. But anyway, appreciate you guys. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends. Also, check us out at omgrc.com for all your hobby goodness. I'll put a link in the description for this, and I'll also put a, the link in there for the actual upgrade itself. So if you want to purchase this and the upgrades. Anyway, as always, this is Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care. Thank you for watching.